Hello, everybody. Welcome to another premiere draft, Wilds of Eldraine. Um, been gone the last few days. I was doing jury duty, <laughs> but I served my civil duty, and I am back to play some magic. So, pack one, pick one. We have some nice options. Charming Scoundrels probably going to be the pick because, I mean, it just does a lot of great things. A two-two with haste, draw a card, make a treasure. Um, I like Ash Party Crasher quite a bit too, Minstrosity, Solid 2 Drop, Hollow Scavenger, Prophetic Prism. But we're going to take the rare. Very strong, lets us maybe splash different color options than uh, Ash would. Otherwise, it would probably be Ash Party Crasher. All right. <clears throat> so, Agatha, the Vial of the Vile Cauldron. Um, not a very good limited card. It's kind of hard to pump her up. In those colors, it's a little easier, but still not amazing. Uh, I'm seeing a Barrow Naughty I'm liking. A Rat Out I like. Yeah, we'll take the Agatha. We'll try to have some fun. So, let's see here now. <clears throat> Dream Spoilers, Picklock Prankster, Shared Animosity. Agatha would work pretty good with Barrow Naughty, since he... As an activated ability. Cooped up is always very strong. Especially in an enchantment white theme. Frostbridge guard has an activated ability. We can maybe make work. I think I would take the Baronani. But I think Ratcatcher is going to take it. See stockpiling great pick if we pick some of those earlier white enchantment cards, but Voracious Vermin's always strong. Lord Skitter's Butcher. Polluted Bonds. Grand Ball Guest. Very nice. Do you like the rat cards? I think Grand Ball, Grand Ball Guest is a little better. Um, number one, we're not in black quite yet. And a two drop, two two, that can pump itself is a little better, I think, than a three mana two three or a three mana two one in this case. So now I kind of like the rat out. These other cards are all pretty decent, like Spreading Seas, Dream Spoilers, Edgewall Inn. I could not play Agatha. I'm not seeing a lot of those activated ability cards. I don't think there's a whole lot in the format anyway. Maybe we'll just take Edgewall Inn. It can bring a uh, adventure creature back to our hand. Like rat catcher. And it lets us splash. Flashy spellcasters pretty good. Five mana four four haste is okay. Good finisher, I guess. <clears throat> Not a whole lot of exciting things. The intangible virtue would be all right with the rats. Being a lot more white. I don't have too many rats, though. I think I'm just going to take the big bruiser. Oh, Joe Haunt's Apprentice. That could be another color we do is blue-red. Not, it's pretty decent here. Five toughness makes it a real pain. And draws spells. Red cap thief is good. Edge wall pack is always good in a red deck. Yeah, I'm just going to take edge wall pack. Take the red cap thief here. Makes it treasure. 
attack tremors, one damage. I guess we'll uh, we'll try it again. I don't really like playing the the aggro theme as much. Kind of seeing more white than anything, so I think I'm taking the white card. This would be great if we... I'm going to take it. I'm going to see if we can maybe do something here. With rats. I'm going to take the Verdant Outrider because that mana... Uh, it's actually a one mana... Uh, activated ability with Agatha. I might still end up in the, the green here. Ooh, Ariette of the Charmed Apple's really good. The main thing about her is at the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses life and you gain life, which is the number of auras you can control. That's a really strong card. Uh, Blind Obedience is also really good. It uh, extorts them. Hopeful Vigils, a great two drop. Archive Dragon, this is like a really nice pack here. Probably going to take the Swarm Piper. Since it goes with our Ratties. Ferocious Weirfox. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll take the, um, the Ariette Charmed Apple. We'll have to look for some color fixing here. Now we're seeing Hamlet Glutton, another Grand Ball guest. Light Blades is good. Conceited Witch is good. It makes the the token that we would want. Hmm. We're kind of deviating now a little bit. We're going to have to make some decisions. I'm going to take Glutton. Now we're seeing some good red-green. Now is probably a good time for Torch the Tower. Although Ruby is really good in this color. I think we're going to take Torch. It was Stab Wound. Storm Killed Vanguard is also nice since there's so many artifacts and enchantments. Stab Wound would be perfect for Ariette here. Same with Rat Out, it's pretty nice. I don't know if I'm going to be super fast anymore and aggro, so I kind of want to take the big boy. It's like big green cards, it's kind of like more of my thing. All this is pretty good, back for seconds is pretty nice. We're getting a lot of good black cards, so now black looking good. Still going to lean into the rat stuff, it looks like, though. Another uh, Johan. I guess the harried spear guard is technically... The pick if we keep our impact tremors. The daredevil's fine for what we're doing. The ray of the numbing depths, pretty good. Oversold cemetery. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have four or more creature cards in your graveyard, return a creature from your graveyard to your hand. That seems pretty powerful. Mind obedience came around, huh? Pretty strong, too. I think we'll take it. Not sure where we're going to end up here. Take the Sky Beast Tracker just for the foods. 
I had a feeling Ruby would come back around. Now we'll take hmm, probably the red cap. I like Witch's Mark quite a bit, but don't think I'm going to end up running Ariette. And red cap will fix our colors that we're kind of hurting on here. Wow, this would be perfect for Ariette and the uh, and blind obedience, but it'd be really hard to make work. Bunch of enchantments just draining them and gaining life. <laughs> That would be a lot of fun. We have another rat catcher. I think we'll just take the rat catcher. I do like Greta though. But we'll take rat catcher. Maybe if that, that black card comes back around, we'll we'll take it. Here's a restless cottage, which is really Quite strong, and it's an activated ability if we use Agatha. Witch Stalker Frenzy, though. Hmm. Don't think we have enough black to really make. Hmm. Witch Stalker Frenzy is probably the best one here. Yeah, I'm going to take it over the, the cottage. Another torch to towers. Very nice. Belligerent of the ball. It's very nice. Prophetic prism would be great. I don't think we're going to be... I mean, we're kind of filling this aggro position pretty nice. I think we just take Torch the Tower over this belligerent on the ball, though. I just like the Torch the Tower more. Dragon Mantle's always okay. Let's take the Dragon Mantle this time. Since I have a few first strikers, we might work out okay with that. Expel the Interlopers. Um, a double white, probably not going to happen. Maybe Utopia Sprawl. Yeah. I might end up playing it. Not real sure the direction we're going yet. Lick a coin or grabby giant. Got an activated ability. Let's do grabby giant. Neva, stock by nightmare. Merry bards is pretty good. I like that young hero role. I think it's between these two. Maybe the wolf. Do the uh do the minecart devil. Another glutton. This is really turning into a interesting one. Take the collector's vault. Cause this is gonna need some some interesting playables. I don't know if season of growth cuts it. Maybe the Hopeless Nightmare gives us something to bargain. The Griffin Airy. I kind of wish I did that life gain thing. I didn't I didn't think all these enchantments would show up. Alright. This is a real weird, not sure where we're going deck. Let's see what we shape it into. There's a couple directions I could see it going. I like the curve. I guess the red cap thief isn't as good because I don't have a whole lot of celebrations. I just have the one, it looks like. And I'm not splashing too many, but it does let us get to our some bigger guys later. 
It's a decent aggro deck as it is. I was going to use this to make a wicked roll on my uh, Grand Ball guest and make him a 4-4. But now I want to be a little more efficient with my mana, so I think I'm just going to do this card instead. Which will still pump him up to a 3-3. Three, three. Keep the pressure on. Sometimes it's good to make sloppy attacks like that. Just to get that extra damage in. So this guy blocked um, efficiently instead of, um, you know, I think his health was more valuable than uh, a value, like a, an efficient block, for example. The big gluttons, huh? Eh, this isn't the best, to be honest. Just turn two, make a treasure. Turn three rats. Then I can maybe glutton out. See if we can draw some more lands. That's good. So, I think we just torch the bunny now, then I'll... Mm. Eh, maybe it's better to just do the rat still, huh? Yeah. I'm going to let him hit me for two. So I'm going to have some big... Big guys coming out now.
I guess glutton, huh? I know I could glutton again, but I think I want to... Bargain. Or do I just glutton again? He didn't have an answer for the first one. Yeah, sure. I think I'll block now. I think I attack still. Wish I could bargain this. Yeah, I kill the protective parents then.
Kind of in a rough spot now. I'm pretty much forced to be defensive. Uh, might have played that one a little too greedy. Winging in with my gluttons instead of just taking care of the bunny. But he's doing a good job. So he's offering to clean the board up, it looks like. I mean, the flyer is going to be a problem, so I think I'm just going to to trade. don't know what I have that can deal with this stuff. Not much. Let's do it like this, then. really got the upper hand on me with that rabbit, huh? I can't sacrifice an enchantment, huh? Hmm. I mean, he'll be able to pump this Coral Smith up anyway, so it doesn't matter. What I do here. Well, that that bunny corn did a lot more work than I expected. All right. This looks pretty good. Basically, I can play my glutton pretty quick on this game, too, if I do a lot of treasures. But I think the aggro is a little better. Might have to get rid of that impact tremors. By the time I'm drawing it, it's a little low impact. I think we just torch it and keep swinging in here. Next turn, I can glutton. Ooh, he's real desperate to block. So 
So, I guess I just attack with the scoundrel. Then play glutton. And maybe attack with both because if he does an efficient block, I'll just bargain the rat. That does keep Imidane's up. And if he blocks the scoundrel, I lose my bargaining chip. So maybe we just hold back then. Or I can play the giant and then play glutton. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, good. The feeling he would not want that trade. So now I can glutton. We don't need to either, though. He's stuck on three mana, though. Might as well swing in here. for the efficient block take more damage that way in the long run okay now I'll just sack the rat I think no, I'll just do the treasure I wanted to keep the treasure so Grabby Giant can uh, maybe find something. This isn't very good. Throw this one back. <laughs> this is pretty much the same hand. Well, the ruby might help us. Next turn, I can handle the glutton. Do I want to trade his rat for my dog? No, I don't think so.
I was going to tap this down so it can't block and I can swing in for nine. Well, let's just tap her down then. Now I don't think he can really afford to attack. Pretty good move there. Is that what we still want to do, though? Now he's got a 3-3. That makes things a little more complicated. I think we attack with everybody but the red cap thief now. Maybe attack with these three. Leave the 4-4 four, four back. Kind of like that better. He could he could do a good trade here. But yeah, he's opting to take take the glutton down. Not going to trade his beast away, huh? Now we'll just glutton. He's probably going to get some really good legendary card that he can put the Iron Crag on. Oh, a Glutton. Okay. This is a forest. I'm surprised he attacked with that. I think we had swing with everything regardless. Because the double block is good here, but he can't afford to do that. So he's going to kill one of my creatures and block the other. Okay, that's pretty good for us. So he might have a fight card in his hand. He could probably attack with two creatures. He's going to draw a card. Yeah. Mm, the food. Got enough for food now. That was a good, good move here. A little nervous still attacking. Yeah, I would say send two creatures in. You have plenty of defense and food. You can heal up to eight next turn. This can bring back a uh, adventure card, but we're not drawing adventure cards, right? We'll wait. 
We're kind of in a tough spot now. Both my gluttons are down. We have some of those minecart daredevils. He's got a nice little green, black, white. <laughs> hmm. What can I draw? Not much. Be bad trade, but I got options here. Now I can get him back. It's one of my stronger cards, so I guess I do it. First, now I'm one mana short of. Because I could swing in with um, seven. Force them to block. That would still cause us to lose, though, because 7 is not 8. Could just play the 4-4 four, four and swing in with both. I think this is the best play. Swing in with a 4-4. Four, four. I guess the 4-4, four, four, I don't it doesn't really matter too much. So now I'm gonna be chumping. Might have been better to just chump one turn and wait. That was pretty good. Very nice deck by that guy. Hey, a rat catcher. It's the first one we've seen. Well, second one, maybe. So turn two, turn three, turn four. This looks good. If we were going first, it would be really good. But we're on the draw. This is our grand ball guest here, leading the rats to victory. Don't want him to draw cards. He's only got one left. So I think we exile that. Let's make sure we tap right. Could just use a rat too. Maybe we should have played my edge wall in there. He might block with it as well. But first let's attack. Alright, let's take a look here. Okay, now we will bargain a rat. No mountains, please.
I think we swing with everybody. Perfect. I think I will play the edge wall in now. No, I guess we can wait one more turn. Play this. Play this guy. He's a better blocker than our rat catcher trainee. Hmm. That is a tough cookie for me to deal with. Another Greta, huh? Lots of food. There's our glutton. So now I can get that card back with our edge wall in. I'm going to play the mountain. In case I really want to get the edge, uh, the edge wall in. This turn. Also make more rats. I decide to block. I think he clicked the wrong button there. He's planning on some sort of wipe. He's going to bring it back. We just wanted to heal, I suppose. Hmm. So now I think I'm going to do that. Get him back. This is a tough position for him. going to take it. I can get him to one. He sees the trick in my hands. He's got some good damage. No, oh, that's not enough.
Finally drawing that dragon mantle with our rat catcher out, especially when he has like three toughness creatures, it's a good feeling. I just wish we we had that more consistent. And I have three of them. I don't know why there's no consistency with them. Nothing great there. Here we'll pick green. Oh no, my arch nemesis. Yeah, this is the one. The reason being is Ruby has haste, so I can still use her to ramp next turn anyway. Give her plus two, plus one, so she would be a three, three. Now the bunny is a 3-3. Three, three. That was a mistake. I did that once before with Ruby. Hopefully he doesn't block. He thinks it's some sort of trick, but... Yeah, that was... <laughs> Got lucky there. Yeah, I've done that before with Ruby. I get confused with... Um, for tapping. Mm, bunny's a problem. we keep them back I could treasure and then do the daredevil that way I can play the glutton off the treasure next turn So we're going to double block here. <clears throat> or I could just chump, play the glutton next turn. Looks like he has an Archon up. He has plenty to sacrifice. I think I have to chump now. Because next turn he can make it a flyer. Archon's going to sacrifice something, so it's going to be a 6-6. Six, six. So, won't be able to kill it. Since I have 5 damage, so we'll just chump it. Anybody play the storm killed Vanguard? I wouldn't mind healing a little. I can play the Hamlet and then attack with Ruby. Um, but then if he locks the Hamlet down, this would be 
a lot of damage. I don't really have another option. Don't really want to block with her, so send her in. Now, if he archons this to trade, I would be fine with it. We might have a cooped up. Got the cooped up. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take some damage. Right. I think now we play this and pass. Maybe I don't pass. Maybe I just play the 2-2. Two, two. Well, it does the same thing. I'm, it looks like he has an Archon to me. So if he just sacrifices something and makes a flying creature, like an 8-8 flyer with lifelink, um, all I can do, you know, I had to play Grabby Giant with the Reach. That thing is magical. I've underestimated that bunny. He's going to make it bigger, huh? One big bunny. So I'm just going to chump here. Yeah, he's just out of reach. Every time, every turn, I can almost kill him. He's just out of reach. So now I don't really have anything. Bet I wasted my destroy artifact enchantment thing on his. I should save it for things like cooped up, but I, I don't. Yeah, I have to do it basically. I just play the four now. I'm desperate here for blocks. That rabbit's going to do some work. All right, do I do the block with everything? I know he's got an answer. But I don't. <laughs> so I pretty much have to do this. Oh, he didn't have it. See, this card would be great if it was a treasure vault. Sorry, not a very entertaining game this time. I could bring back... The rats don't do anything. This doesn't do anything. It's pretty much game over, guys. Sorry, I couldn't make it interesting. Those bunnies are the bane of my existence. I'm waiting for Ixalan to come out though. The dinosaurs and the merfolk, vampires, pirates. Those should be fun. Thanks for watching. See you next time, guys.